Hello everybody. Today is day whatever of the apocalypse. I have a full cup of decaf coffee right here. Damn, that's good. Today I'm gonna to be ranking all 31 NHL teams solely based on how I think their home Adidas jerseys look. We have all of the jerseys down here at the bottom of the screen and I will just simply click and drag where I think they belong. So I created some custom tiers. So yeah, uh, without further ado, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing started. And it is in alphabetical order. So uh, do not think I put these jerseys in this arrangement for any particular reason. Starting at the top. Okay, first up, we got the Anaheim Ducks. Um, you know, I, I don't have any real strong opinions about this team other than, you know, thank you for letting us beat you to go to the Stanley Cup. That was pretty sweet, um, even though it didn't turn out good for us. So this jersey, I think this jersey is really just kind of average. I don't think it's nice. I think it's, a, it's an interesting sleeve thing they got going on. It's like almost nice. I think if they changed their color scheme up and maybe brought some purple or some teal back, they could really have a nice jersey and dare I say a beauty. But for now, I think they are just average. Next up, the Arizona Coyotes. So I don't, I don't know the consensus of this from people. So the, the, the Yotes will be in Preds division next year, uh, when Seattle starts rather. So, you know, we're about to get very accustomed to this team. So there's probably gonna be a lot of people that have opinions about things. We'll be seeing them more, so on and so forth. I happen to think that this jersey is a beauty. Now, I'm not saying they're the best team in the world. Obviously, there's always those talks about like relocating. Arizona, I feel you. The Preds had that talk a while ago. Thankfully, we didn't go to Hamilton. But regardless of all the team issues, people getting fired, you know, the scouting allegations, the jersey's a beauty. I don't know what it is I like about it so much. I think I think simplicity is the overall theme of that one. They didn't try too hard, which I feel like for hockey jerseys is sometimes the key. So don't got a lot else to say about Arizona, so we're gonna move on to Boston. Right, so we have an original six team. So obviously uh, there is a little bit of an expectation that I immediately put it in the beauty department. I do like Boston's jerseys, I will say that. Um, I think they're just nice. I, I can't really give you a reason why, but I just, I'm not super sold on their jerseys. I think their jerseys are nice. They're not average. They're definitely, they've had a long time to make sure the jerseys look good. They look good. I like their logo. I like their colors. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like something about it could be better. I can't tell you what. That's good criticism, right? All right, next up, the Buffalo Sabres. So if their 50th anniversary jersey was their home jersey, I would create a new category called Super Beauty and it would go up there. But, you know, I think it's pretty similar to how I feel about Boston. I like their colors, I like their logo. They have, probably have one of my favorite logos in the NHL. The only thing I don't like is uh, how their neck and the strings, and the hockey guy pointed this out to me, so I can't take credit for like noticing this, but it looks like a dead fish. <laughs> and it really does. But you know, I think it's nice. Uh, they have the capacity to make really good jerseys. Uh, some of their older jerseys are really nice, and I really do like their 50th anniversary one. Uh, and shout out to the Sabres for letting us wear the Winter Classics at home while we let you wear the uh, 50th anniversary at home. That was a nice uh, symbiotic relationship we had there. The Calgary Flames. I'm just gonna be real with you guys, I'm throwing this straight into meh. The reason I'm throwing it in meh it really could be nice. Their Heritage Classics and their Retros are sick. I love those jerseys. Calgary's a good team with a rich history and a lot of jerseys to pull from. You know, I think when they went to Adidas, they just kind of wanted to try something a little different. Um, and I think most people think that it's just meh. You know, I don't even want to call it average because I feel like that would be discrediting what I know Calgary is capable of producing. So yeah, they're going in the meh pool. All right. The team that I would probably be a fan of if Nashville didn't have a team, the Carolina Hurricanes, uh, just because I believe in being a fan of uh, geographic proximity. I really like their jerseys. I gotta say, I like their third jerseys even more. If they switch to that black with the hurricane flags full time, that would be a contender for like best jersey in the league. Now, their normal jersey, 
it's pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna throw it in nice, and here's a couple reasons why. I think, personally, I think the Hurricanes organization might be trying to get away from the swirl, because you know, for their away jersey, they put the Canes, which by the way, we're gonna do away jerseys at some point. I can tell you right now, that thing is going in ugly. I don't know what it is, I just don't really like um, when teams officially use the shortened version. Like if they made a jersey that said Preds, that would be the ugliest thing in the world. I can assure you like two people in Nashville would buy it, although 100 people would buy it on DHgate. Yikes. I like the design, it's a unique design. It's not boring, which is why it's not an average, and it's not hideous, which is not why it's not further down. Um, you know, I like their color scheme. Black and red's a good color scheme. You can't really go wrong with that. Um, yeah, I just, I think they, there is something more to be desired and I have a feeling we will be getting that soon. You can't not put the Blackhawks in the beauty category. They have one of the nicest jersey histories, one of the most solid jerseys, a recognizable jersey, Colorado Avalanche. So there's rumors that they're gonna be wearing Nordiques jerseys this year, and those Adidas jerseys will either be the hottest jerseys this year or the ugliest jerseys this year. We will have to wait and see. Um, but you know, Colorado, I do like Colorado's jerseys. I really like them because they have very unique fonts. Um, you know, it's a unique pattern striping system. You know, I, I gotta throw them in beauty. I really like the Colorado jerseys. I do not really like the third jerseys this year. Uh, I th I think they're just kind of boring looking. It looks like what most teams would do for like their default jerseys if they had no personality. The Columbus Blue Jackets. You know, I really, really like their third jerseys. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. I think a lot of teams could benefit from like having a unique style, you know, my team included. Because I know, much like Calgary, which is why they're going in May, I know that Columbus could really pull out a nice design and have something that puts them in the nice of the beauty category. Dallas Stars, Dallas Stars. No, this is not because they won the Winter Classic. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first ugly. Okay, so before you guys start in the comment section, let me like articulate what I gotta say real fast. So, they have one of the best jerseys of all time. The jerseys they wore when they won the Stanley Cup, with the star like on the back, those are absolute beauties. I think they should bring them back as a third at least. But a couple things, victory green. I just don't know what it is. The color like hurts my eyes. Um, it's just, I don't think it's that appealing in a jersey. So I think they did probably as good as they could do for that color to make a nice looking jersey. And I like their striping and stuff like that. Like I think the jersey looks good. I just do not like their logo. I feel like it's so boring like I know the Cowboys just have a star so but like I feel like they could have a better logo that could really like bring their whole jersey together a little bit better uh, I'm just trying to protect myself from the comment hate I don't really know what I'm doing this is all extemporaneous but I just don't really like their jerseys I will say I like their away jerseys better and I did like their winter classic jerseys except for the the shoulder pads kind of looked like maxi pads Okay, so moving on to another original six team, we have the Detroit Red Wings. I like their jerseys a lot. I'm not throwing them in the beauty category, and I know I'm probably gonna get flack for that. They're going to nice. They got some really nice jerseys. I think unlike the other original six teams, they haven't done a lot to like innovate their look. You know, the logo is timeless. I don't think you should change the logo. I really like their simple striping. I honestly don't quite know what they could do different to make it better. I just think it needs a little bit of a shakeup is all I'm saying. But you know, I respect the minimal minimalism, but you know, I think just, if I look at all 31 teams, it's not one I put at the top, but I do like the jersey. Remember, nice does not mean I hate it. Like, nice is nice. Edmonton, Edmonton, okay. I think that their third jersey Easily like one of my top five favorites. I know a lot of people don't like it. I love it. I really kind of like, like the stadium series, Pittsburgh, Philly jerseys. I love those too. That style to me, so cool. If they made a Preds one, I would buy it in a heartbeat. And we're gonna put them in average. And there's a reason why. I think the blue in the middle and the orange on top looks better. I don't really like their all orange. I think you got, you can see I kind of got a thing for orange, huh? <laughs> 
Don't really like the orange too much. Euler's logo, probably one of the, my favorite ones. I usually do not like logos with text in it at all, but I really like how they did it. It's a timeless logo, a lot of Stanley Cups with that team. Obviously the great one. You know, it's a piece of NHL history. So I think the logo, the look is all there. It's there to stay. Don't touch it, it's good. But I will say that I think either they need to flip it or use like a different color orange. Maybe the color orange they use on their third jerseys might look better. Florida. So Florida, before they did the rebrand, I would have put them in meh. But I think that Florida has an absolute beauty. I love their jerseys. I love the subtleties they did where like the home jersey says Panthers and the away jersey says Florida. Like that's cool. I like the Florida flag on the sleeve. I'm a big fan of flags on jerseys like how Calgary does. You know, I just, I really like their look. The only thing I think they could do to make it somewhat better is much like how the Habs do, they should make the stripe go all the way around in the back. That's something I also complained about for the Winter Classic jerseys for the Preds. Um, but I think they got a really sharp jersey. I like it a lot. I hope they don't change it. Would be intrigued to see them get a third jersey, but I think that their home and away are pretty good. Yet again, another team that has so much potential for a nice jersey, but it doesn't really do it justice. The Los Angeles Kings, they are going to be put in the meh category. Similar reasoning and arguments for the other two. LA has a great logo. They have great colors. I mean, you can't really mess up black and white. You look at some of their older jerseys, some of the best jerseys in the league. They should just switch to Burger King full-time. I'm kidding, but like bring it back to the third at least. Yeah, I, just, I think they're like piping is weird. I think if they went a little bit more minimal like Detroit and just did black and white, but then maybe did something a little different, unique striping or something like that, I mean, their stadium series jersey was very unique. I liked it a lot. I think it was an interesting take. Yeah, I just, I think it's a team that really has potential. And unfortunately, they just like didn't really deliver. The Minnesota Wild, a team that a lot of ex-Predators have gone to. Um, so it's controversial, um, but I really like their color. Dallas, I think these types of green should really be the green you're looking at. I know it would be kind of ridiculous to copy another team's color, but I do like the way they use green in this a lot more. I like their logo. It's essentially a reverse bread head, uh, but it, it's, a, it's a nice jersey. I mean, I really like their color scheme. I like how they have that like asymmetrical stripe in the elbow sleeve. I don't know, just like a lot about it. I'm a huge fan of. And for those reasons, it's a beauty. You know, I said I was gonna put a lot in ugly. So far, there's only one, so we'll see. The Habs, the Montreal Canadiens, where, oh where, are they they're going straight to beauty. I don't even have any reasoning. Just a beautiful jersey. Moving on to the Nashville Predators. Team I am a huge fan of. I live in Nashville, I'm from Nashville, so it fits, right? I really like the Adidas jerseys. I really, really like the Reebok jerseys. We've had some designs that were questionable, the mustard. We have some designs that are praised, the navy alts. And there are rumors we're gonna get a third jersey finally. And disregarding the winter classic, of course, which I think would go straight into the beauty category, controversial opinion. But the Nashville Predators, in my opinion, straight to average. I hate to do it to the boys. I have uh, this jersey myself. You know, it's, it's my home team, I gotta get the jersey. It's a little boring. So the reason I'm not putting it in meh, because I feel like it's borderline meh. I, I like it because it has some unique things to it. So like, you know, the, the customization for the numbers has the guitar strings in it still. Like that's a nice, unique thing. Uh, I like the font, the font is different. You know, it's not just block lettering. And uh, I really like the way that the uh, sleeves have that blue at the bottom. It's not just a straight line. It kind of like tapers. It's just an interesting look. Um, I would probably get rid of it if I was gonna redesign, but I think it at least didn't make it look meh. To me, that a couple things there make it look average. And of course, you got the piano and the neckline. You don't really see that, but that's like a nice touch in my opinion. Obviously, my opinion sways that up a little bit. I think most people would probably put this in meh if they were doing it objectively. I guess I have a little bit of a connection. I'm throwing it in average. I think that's where it belongs. I hope we get some tweaks over the next couple years that could throw it up to nice, or dare I say, a beauty. 
Okay, the New Jersey Devils. Great team, great jersey. Is it a beauty? No, but it's very nice. I will give them that, it is very, very nice. Bring the green back, you're gonna be a beauty every time. Christmas colors are where to go. The Islanders, the New York Islanders. Oh, that was accidental, but kinda where it belongs. I think it's gonna go where I put it originally. It's average. I like their colors. You know, the orange and blue is pretty nice. Um, their logo is like kind of historic. It's, it's interesting. Uh, I don't know, I, I feel like if they brought the fishermen back, they, they could go to beauty pretty fast, just saying. All right, Rangers, beauty, next. All right, Ottawa Senators. A team that's supposed to be rebranding, but from everything I'm reading on Isletics Jersey Watch, everybody involved in that rebrand has like quit or been fired. Um, Ottawa has some good jerseys. I like the O jersey a lot, but this jersey in particular, I think it is so boring that it is in the ugly category. Um, I like the Sins. It's like kind of like the underdog Canadian team, if you ask me. Um, I think I think they're a legit organization. I just I really would like to see that team succeed, and I think that could start. They're tanking and rebuilding right now. I think there'd be no better way to come out strong when you rebuild than having a new look a new logo, hell, even change the color scheme if you want. All right, a team that I think has a great logo, top five logos for sure, but I'm not a big fan of the Adidas jerseys. They have some jerseys in the past that I really like, and that is the Philadelphia Flyers. I'm putting them in meh, just because I feel like the color orange they use is not good. And I don't know, like the logo is so great. And I like uh, their away jerseys or fire, but I just like, I'm not a huge fan of their home jerseys. Uh, I don't know, I think it's maybe like too much white on the sleeves or something like that. I can't really put my finger on why I don't like it, but it's going in the meh category. I hate to say it, but it is. I'm going to try to be very unbiased about this next um, jersey. Uh, and that is the Pittsburgh Penguins. I wish I could put it in ugly a hundred times. I'm kidding. Obviously I'm bitter because they beat us to get the Stanley Cup. But objectively speaking, I like their jersey a lot, actually. I'm gonna throw it in nice. And I know a lot of people love this jersey, and this is gonna be a hot take. I don't like their logo. I don't know why people didn't like the Robo Penguin. I think that logo looks so awesome. I, I, don't, I don't get why people are so stuck on these archaic looking logos. And you know, for a lot of sports, it's not just hockey sometimes. But yeah, I don't know. I think the penguin just looks so outdated. But then again, I'm sure most people in Pittsburgh would probably want to stab me for saying that. So moving on. San Jose Sharks. That is like the easiest beauty ever. I really love their colors. I really love their look. I love their logo. I like their team. Uh, it's a great jersey. I got nothing else better to say about it. It just, it's pretty sick. The St. Louis Blues, our most recent Stanley Cup champions. Um, I like the logo. I like the two-tone blue. Kind of gives me like a little Titans vibe a little bit. Um, it's obviously not the same color blue. But you know, I don't think they quite go in beauty. Their third jerseys would be in the beauty category for sure. And I don't even quite think they go in nice. I think I'm gonna have to throw them in average. Yeah. Sounds about right. I mean, come on, Blues. I put the Preds in average too, so don't feel too bad. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about these next two jerseys at the same time. So Lightning Leafs fans, don't get too angry about this. It's pretty obvious that these two jerseys have a lot of similarities. I don't like the Tampa jersey for the same reason I don't like Detroit's. It's just a little too minimal, but it is a nice jersey, so therefore, Tampa Bay will be put in nice. But Toronto, similar looking jersey, they have done enough for me to put this in the beauty category. Couple reasons. I really like their elbow stripe. It gives you the illusion that there's a blue stripe, but really it's just two small white stripes, right? But I like the way that looks. They've gone, they've gone back to their older logo where it's more um, detailed, it looks really nice. And they got the laces. You know, I just realized I really like jerseys with laces. I put a lot of them in the beauty category. <laughs> I do like my winter classic for that reason too. Anyway, I like Toronto's jersey. I mean, I just, I feel like 
and you, and you, you see jer celebrities walking around with a Toronto jersey on, you just, you think to yourself, wow, that's a beauty. So I know that Vancouver doesn't, this is like a older, older pictures, I think. Yeah, because Chicago still has the toilet bowl around their neckline. Uh, so Vancouver no longer uses this word mark, which severely would have put them down in my book. So I'm going to judge this jersey. So we're gonna be judging this jersey based on this one on the left over here. So this jersey to me is pretty good. I like blue and green together. It's a, a, a unique and different color combination you don't really see too much. I like their logo. Um, they're a good team. So they're going straight to the nice category. They got a nice jersey. All right, the most recent team to join the NHL um, as of now. Uh, I'll probably do an updated version when Seattle comes out. Maybe there'll be a couple of jersey tweaks by then and now. But Vegas, uh, Vegas actually kind of has been my second team since they've come out, which is stupid because they're in the same conference as the Predators. But you know, it's just kind of like I like new franchises. I like to see how they go, support them a little bit. Um, but I really like their jersey. Uh, gray is a favorite color of mine. I think it's underused in sports. I really like their jersey, some nice intricate detail work. Beauty. It's a beauty, like you can fight me on that all you want. I don't care, it's a beauty. I like, I, I really like more jerseys than I thought I did. I had a feeling I was only gonna have like four in the beauty category, but it's pretty uh, aware to me now that I really like most jerseys. So I'm kind of proud of myself. Washington Capitals, straight to the ugly category. I have some strong opinions about Washington's look. Don't get me wrong, the team is great. OB is a legend. He will undoubtedly be remembered for a long time. However, I hope nobody remembers the jersey he wore for most of his career. This thing is ugly. Okay, a couple things. What's with like the piping? It's just like, what? I, I don't like it. Second thing, ugly wordmark logo. Ugly, it looks so bad. They have that really nice Weagle logo on the shoulder. Just make that your main logo. We have the Winnipeg Jets, the former Atlanta Thrashers, um, who had some pretty sweet jerseys. Uh, very different, which is why I liked the Atlanta jerseys. But I will say that Winnipeg has one of the cleanest looks, if you ask me. Uh, I like their logo a lot. They are gonna go to the beauty category. I think this is a pretty fair ranking system. I, I don't think I did too bad. I think it's pretty accurate. I'm sure you're gonna let me know what you think in the comments below, but please do so. Um, I will respond and I will be more than happy to engage in some conversation. I hope nobody roasts me too hard, <laughs> but yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. Um, I will probably be doing an away jersey version as well. Don't worry. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, if you stumbled across this video randomly, um, I haven't been making videos very consistently, honestly, but I'm hoping that uh, I have some new ideas and I'll be able to do that more often. Um, you know, with the whole everything going on, I've just been kind of thinking about what I want to do to make me happy and uh, making videos has always been something for that. So hopefully there will be some more on the way, but I think as long as I can uh, gravitate toward this tier maker list, I can pump out some dumb, but hopefully entertaining content. Uh, here in the near future so be sure to like it if you like it dislike it if you disliked it please do me a favor if you dislike the video please tell me why in the comments don't dislike it because i put your team in the wrong rank you know just tell me how you feel in the comments we'll talk about it all right i promise but anyway i am nash north thank you for clicking and watching especially if you made it this far um i hope you guys have a good day goodbye